Lightspeed tutorial, how to use Lightspeed as a beginner. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at Lightspeed, which will enable you to create your own retail business and you can easily start managing all of your uh, retail needs, your e-commerce needs using Lightspeed. So let's get into it. Now, Lightspeed is a platform that allows you to sell online and offline, uh, simplify your back office, serve with delivery and takeout, streamline your workflow, manage your online bookings, and uh, you know enhance the overall customer experience. They have specific tailored versions for different business categories. You can see you have retail, restaurants, and golfing. And depending on what kind of a niche industry that you are in, so even within uh, restaurants, if you are a bar, a brewery, cafe, your experience on Lightspeed will vary. So to get started with Lightspeed, simply click on free trial on the top right over here. Once you click on free trial, you will be led to their sign up page. So over here, they will ask you what kind of business you are in. So if you are using this for retail, e-commerce, restaurant or golfing. Now, let's say that we want to uh, use this for retail or e-commerce. Let's say we want to go with retail. We'll simply click on that. Now, after that, they will ask you what type of items do you sell. So let's say for it's apparel and footwear, let's say we have uh, one location and then you will just enter your basic information. So I'm just going to enter that information and I will get back to you guys in a second. So I have just completed all of my information over here and now our new platform on Lightspeed is being set up. So you guys can see I get a 14 day free trial and you guys can choose to get started in a specific option. So when would you like to start selling with Lightspeed? Let's say I want to sell within one week and then you can, uh, you know, set up your point of sale system. Let's say we have nothing and let's say we are opening a new store like this. And after you have completed all of this basic information, you guys will be able to see a navigation panel on your left. And then on your basic dashboard, you have multiple different options to get started with setting up your retail or e-commerce business. Now on the top right, you get your basic information. So you get your basic email and total sales. Then if you click on the sell section on the menu on the left side, you can get ready to sell. So before we get into selling, we have to first add our product. So we're going to head on over to products. Now you guys can see in the product section, you have products, you have promotions, price books, brands, suppliers, product tags, categories, and gift cards. This will enable you to categorize your product in a effective manner and make sure that all of your suppliers are suppliers listed. To add a product, simply click on add product on the top right. And now we can enter the information about our product. Then after that, if you are selling sub niches or sub brand within your retail store, you're going to add that. Then after that, you can enter the description Then you will enter any specific tag. Now, these tags are going to help you in categorization and filtering out your product. So make sure you do add, you know, a very simple little tag in a way that will allow you to better categorize your items. So for us, let's say I'm going to enter the tag of uh, tops. Now, after that, you have multiple different categories. Obviously, you're going to set up your categories. I'm going to skip that for now. Or you can just go on ahead and create one over here. So let's say for us, I want to add tops and blouses as a category. Now, after that, you can make this product active and available for sale in store. And you can click on sell point of sale. Then you're going to choose your images. So you can click on over here. And you're going to go into your little images and you can choose the ones that you want to upload. So I'm just going to drag and drop this over here. And now once I've uploaded my image, I can click on apply image and add my products. Now, after that, you have the inventory variation. So uh, first off, you have a standard product. This product is a single SKU with its own inventory. If it is a variant product, so uh, if it has multiple different colors or sizes, then you have the composite product. So a composite product is made up of, you know, multiple different products and is a single SKU, but uses the inventory information of the product within it. So this could be for multiple different color variations, slight differences in, you know, detailing of items. For us, it's going to be a variant. So we're going to add our supplier, our supplier code, and the supplier price. So this is the price that you're receiving from your 
supplier, let's say, I got it for 10. Then you have the inventory levels. Then you have the overall tax, default tax for this outlet or no tax, depending on what you want to charge. You also can search for other types of taxes, but we're just going to continue on. Then you have the price point that you are going to sell it at. So let's say I want to sell it at 12% markup. It will automatically calculate the price and add the retail price, excluding the tax. And then the tax will be added on top of this retail price. So let's say I want to do a 30% markup. And then I have my variants. So uh, you can add variant attributes like uh, your variants could be colors, multiple different colors. So for that, the attribute that you will add is color. If it's sizes, then you're going to add the attribute of sizes and then enter the values. So I'm just going to add sizes and then we're going to add the specific values. Just enter each specific value and press enter and, you know, value will be added like this. So these three variants have been added, the supplier price, retail price and the availability. Now, once you have completed all of this information, you can click on save. And just like that, our product has been saved over here. Now, if you go into your retail section on the top left now, you guys will be able to see your specific products. You can choose to sell, open, close, sell, history, cash management, all of that. So whenever a product is being sold on your uh, store, you are going to simply scan the barcode item or enter the code of your item like this. I just searched for 01 and because 01 is the specific color, the specific SKU of this item, it's showing up. Then I would just click on, uh, let's say I'm selling the medium one, someone bought the medium one. Then I can enter if they're using any discounts. Then I can click on pay one item. Then I can choose, uh, you know, whatever they are paying by. Add a customer to the sale if they provide their email or other information. And just like that, I have a simple point of sale system for my store, for my actual physical retail store. Now, you guys can see after that, you have your open register. So you can set up a uh, open register to make a sale. You have all of your sales history present over here. You also have cash management in your cash register. This can really be super helpful if you are, you know, not working hands on, if you are hiring multiple different employees and you need everything to be uh, accounted for. Now, after that, you also can see this option over here, which is Lightspeed Retail. And if you click on this retail option, they actually have a e-commerce store that you can build. You can click on start selling online and then you can integrate any kind of application, a add-on to create a online store that is going to be integrated with your point of sale system on Lightspeed as well. But you can also integrate Shopify if you choose to do that as well. So you can go on to the apps and you can see you have multiple different applications. You can click connect Lightspeed retail to your Shopify store. And in this way, your online inventory management will also be linked you know, to your Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.